awesome. Oh, so awesome. What a dream come true, right? Temperatures yesterday were also a dream come true. Woohoo! We hit a high of 43 degrees into Green Bay and Oshkosh. Sheboygan came in at 45. We all rose to those 40s. Appleton coming in at 41 degrees. What a taste of spring. Usually spring, first day, March 20th, our average high is 42 degrees. Well, we had that yesterday. Can't hate it whatsoever, but you can frown on this. 20 degrees colder than we were this time yesterday morning. Those spring temperatures are long gone. We're sitting at 13 degrees right now into Green Bay. Negative temperatures off into the Dakotas and northern Minnesota, which is why wind chill advisory has been issued for all of Minnesota and northwestern Wisconsin until 9 a.m., where it actually feels more like 15 below for them, all the way up to nearly 30 below into northern Minnesota. So Yes, that cold air is knocking on our doorstep. It's going to get worse before it gets better. Sunrise at 710 this morning and of course those temperatures cooler further inland. Watoma sitting at just eight degrees and into the north woods into those single digits as well while the rest of us are sitting into those teens this morning. But we got a factor in the wind. It's still breezy out of the northwest sustained up to 15 miles per hour gusting to about 20 to 25 miles per hour at times, especially through the lakeshore and into the Fox Valley as well. So when that happens, happens. It's actually feeling more like the single digits by the lake more like single digits below zero, like four below into Appleton this morning. It's even colder up to the Northwoods at nearly negative 13 into Antigo. Now it's colder up there because of the clearer skies, cloud cover locking in Green Bay, Door County, all of that from the big system down to the south. Notice Chicago getting hit hard right now. Also Champaign, Illinois, Indianapolis as well. As we take a look further down to the south, Springfield and St. Louis right now getting in in a sleet wintry mix that is now switching over to snowfall. Very dangerous commute out there for them. Um, de declarations of disasters have been declared as well. And of course, those winds here for us is all we're going to have to deal with because of the system, the cloudy skies, the breezy winds. So we stay cloudy overcast throughout our day today. We're not looking at any snow chances whatsoever, although Milwaukee is getting some little bit of light snowfall. No major accumulations expected. Notice two low pressures form and they start to slide further to the south. So it starts to take the heat away from a lot of the other areas that are getting that snowfall right now. But here for us, a high pressure slide in gives us clear skies for tomorrow. Still some winds out of the northeast and when they become a little bit stronger by the lake shore, we could see a few lake effect flurries flying tomorrow but just a trace to a half an inch accumulation expected there. So today highs into the teens, but keep in mind those winds gusting up to 18 to 20 miles per hour, making us feel like zero. Then tonight we do crash to around zero, but with those winds again at about 10 miles per hour to the north, making it feel more like 15 below. So wind chill advisory could be issued. And then tomorrow we only rise to the low teens, a high of 13 degrees, still breezy out there. So again, feeling closer to zero. So that cold snap is here and it's going to be here until Friday. We have more sunshine Thursday, chances of some snow Friday of less than half an inch. Then as we go into the weekend, we start to warm things up, brighten things up, a lot more sunshine to be had. And I'll take those 30s next Tuesday. I will too. Yeah. <laughs> Any, anything to get outside again. It was exactly. so nice to be outside yesterday. <sighs> Fresh air. Mm -hmm. Brittany, thank you. You're